into the action here. No one just changed to the fatal four. And look at this. Samojo hitting the muscle buster on the Lord Magma that were ramping. He's able to get in the way. But then he took a pin attempt there. But obviously, if you don't walk the phone, you could be waiting there. That was just the last episode, you know, a lot of controversy, a lot of controversy involving you, Steven is, you know, his off-putting remarks about me and you, the fans, folks, and obviously, using a very opinionated, I'm sure you, the fans, are as well, and I ask you, I challenge you folks at home, you watching this, all you fans, I mean, you see has gone on the record and said that, you know, you know, that we have so many unanswered, I mean, all the attacks and swerves and debate go unanswered, no explanation. But so both so many Vince Russo swerves. And look at this. Rampage in the world are doing the freak on the Jim Starwin here. Bright Shell and the fans at home to comment on these videos or push them into this and give us an example of a time when the you know, in the Earth Sense became a YouTube in 2008 in December. I just want you the fans to let us know if there's ever an occurrence in UWA in which there was an attack or, you know, backstage in it was unexplained to set up a Vince Russo type sword. But anyways, back to the action here. And near falling over Oh, Rampage! A punch! He's bludgeoning and now he's bludgeoning the G-Star. Now he's busted open here. And shades of bloodshed here now in the flesh. And if they got that right. Oh my! That huge just knife edge uppercut there to Rampage. And look at this. Oh my. Or man gets shot to the outside here. And going back to that little challenge issue to the fans, Rock Dog. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna it's gonna be pretty easy for them to come up examples. I know I can come up about ten off the top of my head, but I got a massive commentate here. Look at some mojo, they still set Oh my! Look the Lord Magma right here in front of us. Again, Lord Magma, I have no idea how he'd come back from that brutal shock, really no selling, or maybe that's just one of those mysterious type of powers that Lord Magma often shows us here in the UWA. Now he's able to battle out with Samoa Joe, look at this. Now we have all four of the men here on the outside, and remember this is no disqualification. But how a pinball Simmons is only gonna, uh, gonna occur in the ring, and now look at this. Oh no, look at this, right on front of us on the announce table. Look at this, Samoa Joe bowing up. He's king of the mountain, but so to speak, king of the announce table. They're just throwing Lord Magma. And look at this, Lord Magma just eating the steel steps from Gene Starwin. That was actually two shots, and that second one actually positioned Lord Magma here on the top of the announce table. But once again, Dead Man rising like completely just not affected by that steel step shot maybe he's just immune at this point i have no idea how is he able to come back from the steel steps rock truck it amazes me the wheel the will and desire of this man he's putting out here tonight there's a reason i call him hell's gatekeeper and there's a well somewhat of a good reason when, okay i rephrase that i was going to say that there's a good reason why lord magma is a new bit chain but of course we all remember there's the Master Ring wish in which he was handed the UBA Championship, I would say. There's a damn good reason on why Lord Magma is still the, is the UBA Champion. You know, it's a, even a, as, as vicious as a still step shot is, I mean, Lord Magma was able to actually take a still step shot and able to come back fighting. And look at this, Samoa Joe just taking down Lord Magma right in front of us. And now, oh, wait a minute. Oh no, look at the back on the announce table here. Man, what's Samojo gonna do? The steel steps didn't work. What else is gonna work on this man? The Lord Magma. Oh my God! Samojo's butt just broke the table. Got Samojo butt so he he's driving it to the announcer, taking a Lord Magma with him. Matter of fact, his butt just totally ripped our script. And now a new improv here. And look at this rampage. Pick up the scraps, throwing Lord Magma into the ring here. And look at this, pinning him in the, right here, folks. But you saw what that means. Doesn't mean see it. Wait a minute. Then Rampage been once again being opportunistic to to be able to hold on to his title in a huge win here tonight. Here's your winner and still no limits champion Quentin Rampage Jackson. 
Rampage was going to move on to hold a bath as still No Limits Champion will defeat Lord Magma, Dean Stone, and Samoa Joe. Well, yes, even though Rampage did walk the back, but we can't really blame him. I mean, he, had, he had to do what he had to do to win this match and overcome insurmountable odds here. And Dean Stone, look at this. You can see him walking up, staring down at the man that he's going to be... Oh, wait a minute, Dean Stone is... But it's, but Rampage is staring a whole through Team Starwind. I mean, I guess these two men still have to sell their score. And obviously, Rampage is not going to stop. Oh, wait a minute! Look at Samoa Joe from behind! And look at choking out Samoa Joe here! Samoa is choking out Rampage here! Guys, he's absolutely... He's not even refusing, he's refusing to let go of that hold! Oh, oh, wait a minute! Oh, wait! It's over Vonkey being attacked backstage! Man, because I'm starting to think that you may have been right. That may have been bait and switch. That may have been a lie. That may have been a a, a, a ruse. There's no way. I mean, Von Creed, I mean, he's able to bow back after what just happened. Look at this on the back of Samoa Joe still choking out Rampage. It's absolutely motionless here. Goodness, folks. I mean, he's only slowing down. Oh, got it. Back, but it's breaking through stone in half. Oh no, he can't. he's not going to do this because he can't do this on the, on the stage. No, no, there's a spine shatter. And then Gene Starr went onto the stage. Oh, oh no, he can't take the... Oh my god. No, why is he doing this? No, he can't just take the master ring. I mean, what boy, can he actually just do that? Well, Von Creed just stole the master ring again, just like last year's Holy Night Bash. We all know what he can do with that. Yeah, and I want to find out what's going to happen. We're going to watch the Hornet Bash live October 31st. It's going to be a huge CPV. Don't miss it. Oh, no one's going to watch that horrible CPV after the events that just transpired. Man, UQWA can go straight to hell.